Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this tester for your trailer lights. On one side it plugs into your trailer, on the other side it plugs into a USB battery pack, and you just turn the knob to test your right lights, your tail lights, and your left lights. It's very inexpensive to make. The only catch is that it's not powerful enough to test trailers that have incandescent lights. If your trailer has LED lights like mine does, this should work fine for you. Here's what you'll need. I'll include links to these in the YouTube description, but most of them are generic and you can find substitutes for them. First, there's a USB to 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. This plugs into a USB type A jack, boosts the 5 volts to 12 volts, and ends in a female cigarette lighter socket. Next, there's a rotary switch. It has a common input, and be careful because not all rotary switches have common inputs, and four outputs. Three of the outputs will be used for the trailer lights, and one will be the off position. You need the female connector for trailer wiring. This is the side you would normally wire up to your vehicle. It's usually included when you buy trailer wiring, but you can also buy an extension cord like this and cut off the male end. You need an enclosure. This is the one I had lying around, but all you need is a small plastic box. Finally, you'll need a couple of rubber grommets and a knob. For tools, you'll need a soldering iron and solder, a wire cutter and stripper, a drill, a multimeter, and screwdrivers. Start by cutting off the cigarette lighter socket and stripping the wires. There's a red wire and a black wire. Odds are the red wire is positive and the black wire is negative, but I'm going to double check by plugging the USB into an AC adapter and checking the wires with a multimeter. And indeed the multimeter says that with the black negative and the red positive it's 12 volts. So we know what polarity to wire up. Next I'm going to cut the wires on this harness and strip them. Next we're going to wire things up. The white wire will be connected directly to the black wire from the voltage converter. The other three wires will go to three of the connections on the rotary switch. Doesn't really matter which. The red wire will go to the common connection on the rotary switch. But before we do any of this, we need to think about how this package is going to assemble ultimately. First, before soldering the ends of these wires, we want to slip a rubber grommet over them. And we're going to be drilling a hole in this case for the wire to go in. This particular case has a separate face cover here. We'll want to drill the hole for this grommet in the edge of the case. That way we can just slide the grommet in. The same is true on the other end. This particular case does not have a separate plastic piece. We'll want to drill a hole for the USB cord and we want to drill it on the seam so that this can go together around the wire. We'll want this grommet on the wire. We can't slide it on. We have to cut it open. And now it will fit on. Solder the red wire to the rotary switch's common pin. Solder the trailer wires to three other pins on the rotary switch. Make sure there are no stray strands of wire poking out that could cause short circuits between 
the connections. Solder the black wire on the converter to the white wire on the trailer harness. I'm going to fold it back and wrap it with electrical tape. Okay, let's assemble everything. I've drilled a hole for the rotary switch. I've drilled a hole in the front panel for the trailer wiring. I've drilled a hole in the back. The USB cable. Then I put the knob on. And I have a USB battery pack. And just for convenience, I'm going to zip tie it onto the trailer tester. One thing to be aware of is that most USB battery packs have a sleep mode. If you're not drawing enough power from them, they will shut off. So if you plug the trailer tester into a battery pack, then walk outside and connect the tester to your trailer wiring, by the time you've done all that, the battery may have gone to sleep. You have to wake it by unplugging the USB cable and plugging it in again. Or in some batteries there's a button you can press to wake it up. Anyway, that's how to make a handy tester for your trailers with LED lights. I hope you found this useful.